Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time. And one of the comments that I always hear is, you make it look so easy. Well, I think it is, and I wanna show you just how easy it can be. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques and put them together and teach you how to make your very own jewelry. If you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join me. All right, so the parts that I'm gonna be using today are some 1.5 millimeter leather. I have two pieces cut at 14 inches and I have another one that's about 40 inches. I also have nine of these juicy big, um, these are sort of a, a mauve colored uh, freshwater pearl with a large drill hole. And I have one of the silicone sliders. Now everybody always asks me how to find these on my website. The easiest way to find things on the website is to go up to the search bar and just type in one word. If you put multiple words, sometimes it doesn't like that, you know, because maybe it's not the way that I've put it in. So just put the word silicone in there and press search and they'll come up that way. But this is one of the larger ones. There's the one that is the SOC2 and SOC4, and I'm gonna be using the SOC4 today. I'm also gonna be using some Loctite super glue. You could also use uh, some of the new super glue, which is more of a liquid. Um, you can use pretty much any glue for this, but I just wanted something that has a really good hold. So I'm gonna be using that. And we'll be using a barrel knot tool. And the only other tool we're gonna be needing is some sort of cutter or a pair of scissors, something like that. So let's get started. So the first thing that I wanna do is find the middle of my long piece of leather. So I'm just gonna run down to the middle there and find sort of where the center is. And I'm gonna make one barrel knot there. So I take my little tube. Also the same thing to find the tube as the silicone slider is just type in barrel knot and you'll get multiple things but you'll be able to find the tube. If you do buy this kit, it will come with it. All right, so I'm gonna take that tube and I'm gonna put it up top there. And I'm just gonna take my uh, leather and wrap it around. I'm gonna just go a couple times, so three times there. Take my end, put it through the back end of the tube until it pops out, pull the tube out, and then I am going to tighten that up. So that just is gonna give us a little place to start from. So that's more or less the center, and I'm not gonna worry if it's absolutely perfect, but I do wanna hit sort of the center on that, so just double check, and you can see now that little bit that we're off is about what it used to make the barrel knot. All right, so now I'm gonna find the one that's a little bit longer and I'm gonna have that off to my right because that's the one that I'm gonna be working towards. So now I'm gonna take one of my pieces of my 14 inch and just kind of fold it in half and I'm gonna place it next to that first knot. So just kind of situate it there. And then we're gonna take the next one and I'm gonna offset it a little bit. So one side's gonna be just a little bit longer and I'm gonna place that right next to that one. So just kind of line them up and it's kind of hard for me to show you, but there we go, that's what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna take that longer piece on that one that I offset a bit, and that's what I'm gonna make my barrel knot wraps with. So I'm gonna take that, there's a lot of cords here, so hopefully you can figure out which one I'm using. So I've got the top one here, and I'm gonna go around once, twice, three times. And you always wanna make sure that you're tightly wrapping and that they're nice and neat. And now I'm gonna go in through the back side there and I'm gonna pull that tube out and then I'm gonna tighten that up. So now you might have to pull some of these other ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna isolate that and kind of pull these down a little bit at the same time just to kind of tighten them up. And then I go back to the one that I was wrapping with and tighten that one up. So it's not like, I do get questions about which one is the one that you're pulling on? Well, I'm not just pulling on one. This is the one that I wrapped with which will do most of the uh, tightening up but sometimes you have to tighten up with these other ones too. So learn to feel your leather, and I'm air quoting that. <laughs> you wanna make sure that you know what your leather's doing instead of just um, trying to rely on what you remember, like, oh, I think she was pulling on the long one. Just play around and pull on them until you get what you're looking for. So that's exactly what I want. I wanna have four of these coming off and I want to have that next to that first knot. And now I'm gonna tie another barrel knot so I'm gonna go once, twice, three times, and I'm using the longer piece there, off to the right, and now we're gonna put it through the back end and pull that nice and tight. 
So I'm just gonna squish that right up too. So we'll have a knot and then our piece that we've knotted in the middle and then a knot on either side. Okay, so that's exactly what we want. Now you do wanna make sure that this is nice and snug. So once you get it all situated here with all your knots on either side, go back and you don't wanna pull so hard that you can break it. You know, I always say this in my videos, but you can break leather if you pull too hard. So I'm sort of like grabbing hold of this and I'm using my um, nails and I push up and I'm just, you know, making sure that it's in there nice and snug. All right, so now we're gonna start building the necklace. So I'm gonna take one of my beads and pop it on there. Now, if you find that you have a hard time getting your leather in to the bead, just cut it on a really sharp angle like that and that will make all the difference. So now I'm just gonna tie some barrel knots. So I'm gonna place my tube on top and go once, twice, three times, grab onto that barrel knot, take your leather, put it through the back side of the tube, hold on to the knot again, and then pull that up. And then you're just going to make sure that this bead is right next to that first knot, and then sort of pull that down. And just I just use my fingernails and kind of push against it and tighten it up. And now we're gonna repeat again. I love these big juicy pearls, they're so pretty. Okay, once, twice, three times. Now we're gonna tighten up. And repeat one more time. Wrap around three times. and pull this tight. All right, now we're gonna repeat on the other side. So we have our three there and you can see how this is coming together really easily. So I'm gonna repeat on the other side. Just put on my bead. This comes together very, very quickly once you get that middle section all kind of figured out. And I find that it's best when you're doing these barrel knots, when the, I call these a single barrel knot in that you're only wrapping the leather on itself. You're not using a second piece of uh, cording. So I find that the closer that you work to your bead, the easier it is to get these sort of um, put in place. If you're down here and you're trying to push that uh, barrel knot all the way down there, you'll find that it just doesn't work very well. So, and I, you know, like that one isn't maybe my favorite one that I've done on here so far. Sometimes they go a little kind of goofy, but you know, I don't always fix them. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I just leave them sort of what I call a bit more organic looking. So if that goes kind of awry, I just back it up and start again. Because I always want to make sure that they're not overlapping on each other. I want them to be next to each other. Okay, get that tightened up. So just push that down and once it's in place, then I tighten it up. And if you don't like the way that it's looking, you can kind of just roll it between your fingers and it will even it back out again. And I'll put on my last one here. Now I'm noticing as I'm doing this that my uh, links were a little bit off. So when I cut the um, leather to make my sample yesterday, I had really long pieces of leather and then I tried to do some basic math and obviously I'm off a bit on my math. So when you get your kit, we're gonna make sure that you have plenty of leather in there. So you're gonna cut two 14 inch pieces and then your remaining long piece is what you're gonna build your necklace with. And you will probably have a really long length and you can adjust it accordingly. But I always wanna make sure that everybody has um, enough leather for everything. And this is not too bad, but it's not a lot if you um, are a heavier person and you wanna have a, you know, maybe a little bit longer. So we'll make sure to give you enough uh, leather. So just make sure that you cut two 14 inch pieces and then the remaining piece is what you're going to work with to create your necklace. All right, so we're going to trim off one of these pieces of leather because I only want to use three. So I'm going to use the one that's coming out on the furthest here. And you know, you can, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to figure it out, but I just sort of look for the ones that are in the center here are the ones that I'm going to work with for putting my beads on. And then this one off to the side is the one that I'm going to trim. So I just wanna double check to make sure everything's really snug and tight. Now it's really important that this is tight before you cut, but make sure it's all nice and tight there. And then we're gonna cut this piece out 
and then we'll be coming back to that after. So now I've got three pieces of leather coming out here and I just sort of decide where I want to have my beads and I don't want to have them obviously right across from each other so I, I sort of stagger them a little bit. You can have a really long dangle, you can have a short dangle, you can kind of do whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab one piece of leather and if you want to be like super scientific about this and you know kind of line them up and decide you can but I, I don't tend to do that. So I'm just gonna find one here and place it on. And then I'm going to just kind of eyeball things. So this is kind of how I do things. I'm like, okay, well, that looks pretty good. I think I wanna have that as my, maybe my longest piece. So I'll go about here. So always make sure you put your bead on first. I tend to often get really excited about doing something and forget to put my bead on and I make a beautiful wrap. <laughs> so. You want to make sure you've got enough left on the end here to make a small wrap. So I just kind of decide where I want it. So I think I'm going to put my knot about, about there. So I just kind of mark it with my finger. I place my tube on it and I'm just going to go twice. It's just a little tiny one. Now you will find it hard to get on the end there because there's not very much leather, but um, that's kind of what we want. We don't want to waste a lot of leather on that. So just kind of scoosh that up to where you want it and tighten it up and it can take a little bit of you know getting back and forth to make sure it's where you want and then we're just going to work from there now i don't trim these yet i just kind of wait to make sure that they are where i want them to be okay so i think i'm going to go up here i'm going to go way up there with that one just because i want a little bit of varied length so i think that one's going to go way up there so i'm going to mark that with my finger place my tube right there and just wrap twice on these. We do three on the other and two on these end ones just because I want just a little tiny bit that almost looks like a bit of a, a head pin or something to, to block it from falling off but I don't want a great big huge knot. So I'm pulling pretty tight on that because I want those knots nice and tight. So there we've got one there and sometimes you'll get a little bit of the inside dust that comes from the uh, pearl. Just wipe it off with your fingers. It's just a little bit of dust from when they drilled the hole. And now you get to decide where you wanna put this. You can have one up here. I think I'm gonna have one right about there. So I'm gonna put my pearl on. And again, if you have problems trying to get that in there, go on a bit of an angle. And once you cut it, it makes it a whole lot easier to go in there. So now I'm gonna decide where I want that one. So about there. So again, this is supposed to be sort of an organic look. So I'm not gonna be worried about it being absolutely perfect and in the perfect spot. I just sort of let them fall where they may. But I, you know, I sort of do give a little bit of a, a look. And that one's a little hard to get on there because there's just not much leather, but if you're persistent and just keep trying, it'll go where you want. Okay, so yeah, that's about where I want. I'm gonna pull that up. See, that one goes there. Just wanna make sure, yeah, that looks pretty good. So now I can pull that out of the way and then just pull on that nice and tight. So it's kind of, again, a push and a pull. Just get it into position and make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now that I like where these are, I'm just going to tighten them one more time before I trim. So now I'm going to just trim really close to the knot. And if you want, you could leave, you know, you could cut it, you know, here and leave a little dangle there. Again, it's up to you. It's it's your piece. You can, you can play around and do whatever you like. But once you cut, you know, that's it. You've, you're kind of committed. So we're gonna do that. And now on the other end, we're going to line these up and get them somewhat even. And those are pretty good. So I'm gonna cut these on a really sharp angle and I've got one that's already cut on an angle and I will cut the other one. Now some leathers are easier to get in than others. This one got a bit of a blunt end and it made it really, really hard to get in. You know, it's just some leathers are softer than others. So what I find is easiest is to kind of line them up I'm gonna make this one even more pointy because I'm struggling to get that in there. So I went and grabbed my tweezers because sometimes between cutting them on a really sharp angle and using tweezers, you can get them in a little bit easier. 
So I'm going to put one in there and the other one, so I'll just get that in there. The other one I'm going to put in between my tweezers and then I can take the end of those tweezers and push them up inside there. So there, just kind of push it up and then I'm going to pull that back and then grab the end of it. We're going to be cutting the end off of this anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's kind of mangled like that one is. All right, so sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get through there, but you know, if you just kind of boss it around, you'll get it through. Okay, so on the end here, we're just going to do the same thing as we did on the other ends. We're going to tie a small barrel knot. So we're just going to go around once, twice, take that end, put it through the tube, and pull that out. So I want to preserve as much of the end here as I can. And then I'm just going to pull that down. Now you're going to want to um, see where you need this. Like I've just kind of, it, this is a sample, so this is going to be really small. It's not really going to work very well for most people. So you're going to want to measure this on you. So you can put your silicone slider on and then you can pull it down to where you think you want it, try it on, see where it's sitting, and then you can trim off a big pile of the leather on the end and then just create these barrel knots. So I can't give you an actual length because everybody's uh, length is gonna be different. So it's something that you're gonna have to sort of try and see what length you want it. So I would put the slider on first, try it on, and then adjust your lengths. And then we're just tying these little barrel knots on the end of the leather so that when you've got this on and you want to maybe adjust the length, sometimes you can wear this longer and sometimes you'll want to wear it shorter, but this way now it's not going to come off that, because you don't want that to come off. So now if you grab hold of those, you'll be able to pull down. Okay, and we're just gonna trim this up a bit. So I wanna make sure those are really nice and tight. So trim those off like that. Okay, so our final step on this is gonna be gluing. It's really important on this piece that we add um, enough glue so that it doesn't fall apart. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the end of these knots. Just make sure that you've got enough that it's not gonna go anywhere. And I don't want that glue all over my mat, but it may end up on it. Okay, so now this is where it's really important. I want to find the area that I cut that piece of leather out, which is right there. So I'm gonna give that a pretty good coating of glue. I'm gonna go all around that area. And this glue dries completely clear, so you won't even see it. But we wanna make sure we have enough there so that these don't come apart. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit on each end. So now if you've tied these knots tight enough, they shouldn't fall apart because they are actually knots. But I wanna add just a little bit of reinforcement by using my glue there just to give us a little extra protection. All right, so there's our completed necklaces. I think these ones are so cute. Super great to wear in the summertime with just a nice little t-shirt or a tank top or something. I think this is so fabulous. So this will be available in kit form. You'll get to choose the color of your leather and the color of your pearls and the color of your metals. So we have the white pearls and we have this sort of um, mauve pink color and then we're gonna have peach. So to purchase your own kit, you just go into the description box below this video. There's a link there that will take you to my fully secure website. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from everybody and please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I wanna thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.